Guardian, testing the system on the MQ-9 Reaper. Flying manned and unmanned aircraft, at the same time, safely, supporting the air wing of the future. That's the end goal for Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division crews, who designed the Guardian system. See how testers are trying it out on the unmanned MQ-9 Reaper. One of the strategic initiatives of naval aviation is the integration of manned and unmanned aircraft in a way that has not been done before. But critical to that is to ensure that the aircraft don't hit each other. Flying manned and unmanned aircraft at the same time, safely, supporting the air wing of the future. That's the end goal for Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division crews who designed the Guardian system. The Guardian ground-based detect and avoid system uh, is designed to be able to support multiple aircraft. It is not an aircraft-specific system. It is not even an airspace-specific system. It's built sort of in the green box concept, or it'll be certified to that concept so that we can plug and play with any air vehicle that needs our system to be able to enter the airspace. At Patuxent River Naval Air Station, Christopher Melton and his team installed the Guardian into the ground control unit for the MQ-9 Reaper. The main pilot can see outside of his cockpit, see other aircraft, maintain well clear from others. An unmanned pilot, on the other hand, does not have that out the window view to be able to do the same. So in order to be able to comply with the well clear requirement and the scene avoid requirement, Guardian provides that situational awareness and those alerts required. The way we see it here, you know, in the, in the future is we won't have to lock down airspace, make it exclusive. So I think that's gonna make training, operations and testing way more effective and time efficient. Once the Guardian system is proven on the MQ-9 Reaper, the team will test to see if the same pilot can both operate the aircraft and the Guardian system in smaller control stations. We are hopefully gathering data to show the workload that a pilot has the capacity to fly the aircraft and also act as their own guardian operator, meaning you no longer have that communication barrier between two separate people in a timely manner if there's an impending collision. We're hoping that this becomes not just Navy-wide, not just Army-wide, but all services will be using it that use UAVs.